Hi everyone, this is Mike A9 and welcome to this addendum to my Sonic 3 and Knuckles speedrun tutorial. Uh, this is necessary because uh, the route has changed. We now take Sonic and Tails with us uh, for the entire run. And uh, having Tails partner allows us to do an extra level wrap in this, the final stage of the run. Um, everything that you see here can be done entirely using Sonic to manipulate Tails input. You don't need to have a second controller. So here we go. Uh, firstly, you have to have died at the start of uh, Death Egg Act 2. Um, there's conveniently, there is a set of spikes up there that when you get put into Act 2 from Act 1, you just immediately spin dash and jump into those spikes and you lose a life. And that, like in, say, Hydrocity, uh, resets the level boundaries uh, so that this level wrap works correctly. Uh, so we carry. We carry on through the first about 15 seconds of the stage as normal. Uh, that Knowing that uh, shield is there is handy if you um, fall straight into the pit. You absolutely need the lightning shield for this, by the way. So, uh, And this is, the, this is the important area. So what we're going to do, we're going to um, unload that uh, moving platform that we were just at. Uh, you can actually jump into the the point of that thing as it's falling down and it won't hit you. It's bizarre. Anyway, uh, so we go over here and you see Tails respawns now. Uh, and you can see that the moving platforms are now uh, back in their original position. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to run over to the edge of this platform but turn around just before we get there. Tails is going to run into the pit. Now you can't see the pit but it looks a little bit like this. There's a uh, big U-bend in the bottom of it, uh, which means that it's kind of hard for Tails to sit still in position. Uh, what we're going to do, though, is we're going to try and ju just try and inch left and right, just trying to get him to stop. And then uh, facing left, we're going to spin dash. Uh, and there, it didn't work. What we want to what we want to hear is that. We want to hear that Tails is charging a spin dash in the pit too. As soon as we hear that, we then go berserk, charge our full spin dash, let it go, and Tails will actually spin dash up the side of this ramp here, uh, either left or right, it doesn't matter which side he goes up. Um, then, once Sonic gets over to here, jump and double jump up to the up to this platform so we can actually see Tails land on it. And once Tails lands on it, that will cause these platforms to fall. Now that we've seen that, facing right in the pit, uh, duck and hold until the screen scrolls all the way down. Once here, uh, then do one tap of a spin dash. You heard more than that, but that was actually just Tails. Uh, you don't want to. You don't want to uh, hold that for very long. You only want to see the screen scroll up just a little bit. Then release the spin dash and hold left, and the the platform appearing will actually clip you into this wall here. Uh, then, once you're in here, you're you're standing about here at the moment, and you want to jump out to here. So jump out here, holding right at the peak of your jump switch to left and that'll actually push you a little bit over and then you'll start falling. The screen the screen will scroll upwards. So you can see that the screen is falling. Now what we're looking for is this this row here is what we're looking at. Once it reaches the absolute bottom of the screen activate the lightning shield. And you would have seen that um, it that it stopped kind of on the bottom of the screen. If that happens, then you know you've got it right. Any other frame, this is a frame perfect jump. Any other frame uh, means that you'll settle here in the wrong position. Now, if you see there's a there's a row up here. There's a there's a row down here actually. That's um, that the lives are kind of halfway in between that and the bottom of the screen. There's another one uh, perfectly in line with the ring count. Um, so if you see 
that they're in that position, then you're in the right spot and you just hold right and you'll go straight to the boss at the end of the stage. Um, the moment I'm charging a spin dash, uh, once we get over here, uh, if you were to hold right from here, uh, you wouldn't be able to get through here. Instead, the game would push you down. However, if you spin dash instead, uh, that makes you just small enough that you'll actually sneak under instead. So you want to be charging the spin dash, hold right, and then at some point over here, it doesn't matter where, then you jump and you jump out of the floor and into the boss arena. And from there, the rest of the fight goes as normal. Uh, so we'll just quickly go back to the start of this level and show you what it looks like without any interruptions. Thank <laughs> you.